Here we are with the next part of Lab 6. I want to introduce you to another uh, HTML tag. It's a structural tag, and it's called the div tag. In the next video, I'll talk to you about the span tag, but this one is about the div tag. So if you look at this website that we've built here, let me just make it a little easier to look at, you can see that there are sections. We've got um, an H1 and a description, and then we have an H2 and a bulleted list, and an H2 and a bulleted list, and an H2 and a list. It's not bulleted, I'm sorry. Another H2 and another list. So it looks like we've got some sections here. So looking at this, you can see those sections. And what I want to do is add an image to each of these sections. So we're accustomed to adding an image. We've already added this to the UL tag. And we do know how to add an image to the H2 or H3. But I would like the image to be added to the whole section. So I'm going to create these sections for myself. And the way I do that is back to the index, add some divs. Div stands for division. And it looks pretty easy. I'm going to do some styling just to show you how easily it works. There's the div tag. And I will end it after the end of the UL. And I'm going to put in another div tag. Dive, I wrote. Oops. And this also will end at the bottom of the UL. Uh, I think I have two more sections to put in their divisions. Look, I keep typing dive. What's on my mind? And this is the final one. So let me beautify this and uh, we go that looks nicer so my divs all have here in the code they've got a space between them let's see what that looks like over here refresh did I do a save save and refresh nothing that's right the div tag right now is doing nothing let's put something in the styles.css just to make it do something. This isn't what I want it to do, but I'd like for you to see what the div tag does. I'll make the div my element, and I'll just say border uh, bottom black solid. Save and refresh. So now you can see that every div has a border that is a solid black line underneath it. So that's an example of why you might choose to create a div tag. The purpose of the div tag is for styling purposes only. That's the reason the div tag exists. So what we're going to do now is add some images to this div tag. And I think, yeah, let's do this on styles, sorry. I should stay here. Uh, background image. And URL. And let's get, I think, a butterfly. Let's put butter1 on it. And why don't we say, um, get outside of that paren. No repeat, because we know we don't want it to repeat. And let's also say, let me just take a peek over here. Let's also say, I want it to be over here on the right side, kind of centered between the top and bottom of the div. So I'll say uh, right center and do a save. So that is an image added to the div. 
Oh, look, I've made that same mistake I did earlier. I need to get rid of that because I used a multiple um, value here in my declaration. I used multiple values. So let me do another save and a refresh. And there's the butterfly. So you can see it's over there if I move my whole thing. You can see it. And uh, the thing that's great is that you can see it in the middle of each div. The thing that's not great, what are some things that are not great about it? Uh, let's see. What would happen if, just so you can see it, if I added this, I'm going to cut it from here to the, not the H1, but let's put in an H2. I just want you to see, this is not what I want to do, but I want you to see what happens. Save and refresh. So you can see now it's restricted to the H2 area. And that's not handy, is it? Now you understand a little more about why I want to put the div right here. Why I want to put a div there at all, or why I want to put an image there. So I am going to get rid of this because we don't really need that border there. And save and refresh. So let's talk a little bit about uh, why is this butterfly behind the text but in front of the picture frame. So I'm going to go back here to my index. I have a body tag way up here. And the body tag is the parent. See this line here? It's the parent container for the whole website. And attached to the body tag is my repeating image. So because that is the most parent tag, it'll stay the furthest in the back. Next after that, I have the text. I mean, next after that, I have the divs. Let's go back to the index. You can see the divs by this indent are the next level up. And then we have our text that is those list items. So in terms of what's going to be in front of what, the most, imp the most uh, parent of the tags is going to be the furthest back. The second is going to be the div, and the third is going to be the list items. So that's just something to know about how the uh, order of what's in front of something else is. Let's see if we can set it up so that the text does not run into the div image. I'm going to add some padding on the right side of the div so that the text won't bump into it. So I'm going to go back over here to styles and what size is that image? Let me just check. Butter one. That is 168 wide by 115 tall. So I want my padding right on the div. to be 168px. Let's see how that worked. Great. Now the text that's in a div, this is not in a div up here, but the text that's in the div is not going to go on top of the image because the div has some padding on the right side. It's awfully close. Probably 178 would be nicer. Save, refresh. All right, onward.